How's it going, Keith? Oh, it's good. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Where are we going? So we're going to Vegas. We're going to Vegas? Let's go! We just go to Vegas. Okay, well, I we're think I packed. Hey, yeah, I packed okay for that. So Steven brought me in the car yesterday and just said, we're going somewhere, pack your bags. You haven't really told me why we're in Vegas. We had such a great time on that sushi adventure. Yeah, we had a great time. Who's your boy? Steven Lamb. <laughs> Yes! It's like I gotta do part two. So today we're gonna get three types of burgers. Cheap one, a medium price one, and a super expensive one. In fact, it's gonna be $777. <laughs> oh, I'm allergic to that idea. <laughs> but we're gonna find out, is that burger really worth the price difference? I like cheap burgers. Maybe you just haven't had the right experience yet with the right person. I like that you've made that about you. Well, isn't this all about me, Keith? No, it's not. It's literally a video comparing burgers. With Keith and Steven, best buddies for life. I'm Adam Baird, the executive corporate chef for Habit Burger Grill. Keith and Steven are out in Las Vegas enjoying a delicious char burger. We cook everything to order and we season it with a handmade seasoning in the back of the house. We caramelize onions all day long, post our buns to order. Every little bit of detail has to be executed with the utmost skill. It is gorgeous. I don't want to waste any time talking. Let's eat it. It smells so good. I don't right want now. to waste any time talking. Let's eat it. Where the I'm sun's not coming right now. Oh, it's so juicy. Very savory. The mayonnaise was like this great layer of delightful goodness. Your reaction after taking a bite of this is to take another bite immediately. <laughs> this drink is delicious. This, also, they make their own strawberry limeade here and it's great. Let's go back and forth. Perfect balance, like an Olympic gymnast. You're perfect, Keith. Can't argue with that. Together, we are the perfect dynamic duo. Ugh. And this burger is $4.15. That's crazy. What would you compare this value to? Theft. Four fifteen, you can't beat this burger. But the next burger is not four dollars. It's twenty bucks. So we got to go there. Bring a family here. Bring a date. Why are you cut me off? I had such a nice oh, round. I'm trying go. to end the segment, go. and then I have to start over with a new bow. Why is this happening? You're not gonna find. <laughs> Damn, that was a fine boyga. Burger fat. Burger fat. How many burgers did America eat in 2014? This is a question. This is not a fact. That's trivia. You can't say burger fact and ask me a question. How many burgers? God damn it, that's the question. Did America eat in 2014? I don't know. 200,000. What, are you stupid? I don't, I'm guessing. I was awaiting a fact. Nine billion. So on our way now to the Gordon Ramsay burger. Wouldn't mind some bacon. I don't think we'll meet Gordon, but we'll certainly meet somebody. I'm driving without hands, Keith. It worries me. We are at Gordon Ramsay Burger. Our featured burger today that we're talking about is our hog burger. This is the only burger that we actually griddle. So we get a lot more caramelization on it. Our buns, they're all brushed with 83% butter fat and they are toasted on the griddle. Our cabbage slaw is dressed with a tarragon mayonnaise, a nice beautifully caramelized pork patty. Ooh. On top of our pork is our smoked barbecue brisket. On top of the pork. Pork on pork on pork. Then comes our crispy onion, garlic seasoning, paprika, and a little bit of cayenne for kick. And we also need the acid of our pickles. So these are our house made bread and butter pickles. Nice. It's almost as big as your head. The best thing about a burger is it's simple. Everyone can identify with it, but the way that you can take it through the roof is in the details. When I eat burgers that are this big, I smash them. You are an animal. How are you going to enjoy the flavors like that? How are you going to enjoy the flavors separately? Cheers. Cheers. I can't get her to talk. Wow. It's very, very porky, but with the onions and the pickles, totally counters yeah. To find this many ingredients and put it into one item that you can enjoy together yeah. is a very hard task, and they managed to do that. Balance like a pig on a tightrope, baby. If I'm gonna spend $18, I want to see this much food. It was as big as Steven's head, but a really sexy Steven's head. Are you sure that's not just this guy right here? No, I'm pretty sure. Two little piggies with Steven Lim heads on a tightrope. I want to see that animation now. <laughs> If you were staying anywhere near Planet Hollywood and you want a bomb ass burger, this is just incredible. Now, we gotta head to this, this preposterous burger. What would make this next burger worth it? I guess it'd have to be the best tasting burger I've ever had. That's not hard to do, right? It is hard to do. I've eaten more burgers than any other food. It's too expensive. No amount of money can buy the friendship that we have together, Keith. You yep. hear that? I bet all buddies. the people on the internet are so envious of our friendship. What we're looking at today is our 777 burger, the best hamburger in town. It's $777. It is. That is the most expensive burger I've ever heard of. And champagne. And champagne, Because it right. comes with Dom Perignon. That burger gets a Wagyu patty, aged goat cheese, and I, cheddar bacon. Oh my God. Fall gras, arugula, lobster, 
and it gets 100 year old aged balsamic vinegar. How much is a bottle? This goes for about $200 a bottle. I'm looking at it, I'm like, every single item on there is more expensive than the thing I would normally eat. You gotta live once in a while. I know, I gotta live. I'm. You gotta live. We are about to eat the greatest thing in the world. For once, I'm not super upset that you're touching me because I, I too am very excited. That's not an invitation to re-grab. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I just wanted to stop by and offer you first our bottle of Dom Perignon Rosé. And this goes exquisitely with the finest burger on the planet, the 777 Burger. Yes. You made a wonderful decision today, gentlemen. Enjoy your meal. I also like the, how romantic this is that we're gonna share everything. It's very cute. I yeah, like I'm it. sorry. I couldn't afford more than one burger. No, I understand. Which is uh, actually my plan all along. Okay. You eat it first, Keith. I can't. You sure? I don't feel worthy. Well, well, well. I want some of that champagne, mm. though. Well, that's delightful. Oh, that's good. Holy I'm going for it. Wow. Stephen, that is crazy tasting. <laughs> I had so much pleasure just watching you eat that burger. It's really good. I don't want to eat it. Eat it. I can't. I, I feel I physically cannot eat this burger. All right. I feel bad. <gasps> I'm tearing up watching you eat this. Dude, it's so good. Balsamic vinegar is truly like God tears. I'm doing it. It's a little overwhelming. Wow. <laughs> Every item on here has a strong flavor. The goat cheese and the beef really melt together yeah. well. It's like one true pair, like Keith and Steven, all together, you know, just best buddies for life. He's insane. Let's not kid ourselves. That's a lot of money. But if you're in a place to spend lots of money, might as well go for it. And I didn't think that a burger could be an experience until mm. today. I don't want this ever to end. So. What was your favorite? If I were to come back to Vegas and bring my girlfriend somewhere, it would have to be the Gordon Ramsay burger. Well, it was something super different, and it was a really, just really good burger. I'm gonna start going to the habit. However, the best burger I had today was the 777 wow. burger. Wow! You know, to share bites of that burger, it's worth it. It's what? Vegas, baby. Don't do that. I'm gonna go to bed. It's 5:30 in Vegas. You can sleep, but I'm getting no. up. It's Vegas, burger. Oh, God, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Die. What's Vegas, baby? All right, you're scaring me. I'm going to sleep. Vegas, baby.